They hate when you elevate They stacking up losses, I'm handing them out, yeah, I had to go delegate They feel like I'm floating, I'm lost in the moment, I swear I could levitate They never believed that I would really fly, I had to go demonstrate I had to set them straight What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Damien Cryer, and I am back with another video. I hope you guys are having a wonderful, blessed, and amazing day today. If you have not subscribed to the Cryer family, all you gotta do is turn that bell on so you are subscribed to the channel. But being subscribed to the channel only means you are subscribed. You guys already know what else to do, man. I'll be dropping the links to my other YouTube channel in the description box down below, which is the Damien Cryer prank channel. Also, I have another channel that's called a reaction channel, The Cryer Family Reacts. I just did two reactions yesterday on that channel. One of them was about Tupac, and one of them was about um, people caught stealing at Walmart. So go check those videos out. Also, guys, I am on Facebook uploading videos every single day for you guys. One video a day, every single day seven days a week guys so go follow me on facebook right now that's the crier family so guys i know you guys are getting ready for halloween a lot of you guys getting ready for these upcoming holidays me i'm still getting ready for this weather change man like i'm so ready to get out and start doing some fishing man so now we are in the uh 80s and 70s i think today was like 91 right here in houston man so i'm gonna show you guys how i've been getting ready for the holiday now, Halloween has always been one of the most scariest holidays to me. I'm gonna tell you why. You guys know I got shot years ago. Of course, I wasn't shot by a mass gunman or nothing like that. I was shot by someone, let's just say someone who's no longer here with us anymore. Um, but I never like Halloween because when people knock at your doors, they have face masks on, makeup, and it's always a scary sight. So at my other house I used to live in before I moved to this house, I never ever did trick or treat. I was there for two, no, I was there for three years, a little bit over three years. So I was, uh, I never did Halloween at that house because I'm like, nah, man, I'm not going. So in this neighborhood that I'm in now, it's a whole huge upgrade from my old neighborhood. So I think this year I'm gonna be doing some trick or treating, but I think I might've went a little bit too far for Halloween, guys. So I'm gonna show you some of the stuff I got for Halloween, man. I don't know if I went too far. You guys comment down below if you guys think I went too far this year. But I'm gonna show you what I'm cooking first, guys. Some of y'all gonna be mad, cause y'all know how I get down, man. Y'all know I love my soul food, man. It's never gonna stop. I'm gonna always be a soul food eater. So let me show y'all what I'm cooking. Don't get mad though, man. Some of y'all probably can already guess. Matter of fact, before I even take the top off, can you guys guess what I'm cooking right now? Comment right now in the comment section if you know what I'm gonna show you I'm cooking. Some of you guys have already figured it out, but it's definitely some type of vegetable. You know what? Skip all that. Check this out. Ooh, look at that pot on the stove. Mmm, there's another one right there. Mmm-hmm. Y'all ready to see what's in there? Let me show you what's in the sink first. Mm-hmm. I got those chicken wing parts. I like getting these packs now where they got the, the drum actually separated from the flat. I love the flats. My son, Dion, he loves the drum part. So we're opposites. If I give him the flat, he'll throw it. If I give him the drum, he'll smash it. So we got like, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. So I think we got like 10 pieces in there, five flats and five drums. So anyway back over to this pot man i'm thinking about giving greens away for halloween guys what do y'all think giving collard greens away for halloween hmm? Hmm? you think anybody eat them i'm just kidding guys i'm not giving these greens away so like at least once a month i make me some greens man i love greens i love greens so much that i got certain people who watch my videos when i make greens starting to make greens all the time now as a tradition me and my household i do this at least once a month i'm gonna tell you why because when i was younger as i was coming up through the years my mom may god rest her soul my mom made sunday dinner every sunday and at least once a month let me turn this around when, when my mom made sunday uh sunday sunday when my mom made sunday dinner at least once a month at least once a month, she made collard greens 
or no no i'm sorry she made turnip greens mixed with mustard greens and i never understood so one day i ate mustard greens by itself one day i ate turnip greens by itself and i said this don't taste right so i ended up mixing the mustard greens and turnip greens together and i realized that why my mom used to make mustard greens and turnip greens together because they actually taste good together so my tradition in my household is at least once a now i don't cook every sunday like my mom used to do but in my house once a month i make collard greens with the smoked turkey next to them at my house so comment down below if you guys have a tradition in your house where you make certain food once a month um and then like this is the months with the r's in them this is actually the second month with the r's in them now you guys always hear me say the months with the r's in them are usually cold months you got september then the first cold month then you got october november december january february march then it comes to april which is a mild month that starts getting warm again so anyway in the months with the r's in them is where i make a lot of food that they consider as high blood pressure food during the summertime like i make a lot of pork and i know pork's not good for you but i make a lot of pork this time of year because you're not at high risk of having a stroke eating food like that that they consider as high blood pressure food i love my chitlins and you know we got the holidays coming up one of the major ones coming up is next month thanksgiving and i cannot wait i am actually going to be putting my christmas tree together soon i'm going to be doing a video matter of fact me and my son dion we're going to be putting this christmas tree together together we're going to put the christmas tree together for you guys we're going to decorate it together and everything and it'll be my first christmas tree set up inside my new place but let me show you some of the stuff that i got for halloween and let me know if you guys think i went too far right here this is personal right here bro this is personal so don't take it personal y'all don't take it personal this is personal so i went to walmart uh oh get the shield butt up here and i bought a variety bag of candy and this one had like uh i think this was like 160 pieces of candy in this bag for like 25 or 30 bucks so this was a personal right here and this is the rest of the bag right here i was going to use for halloween to pass out because this is still a lot of candy a whole lot of candy so i'm gonna tell you guys what happened to me yesterday as i was coming home before i show you guys this other stuff so yesterday as i was pulling up and backing the truck into one of my garages i took my son dion out of his car seat i unlocked the front door to let him in the house first and i had some other stuff in my hand and as i was unlocking the door one of my neighbors said, hey, Mr. Cryer, do you have a second? I was like, sure, what's going on? So I made sure that I got my son up the stairs and put the little safety gate up and all that. And I go back downstairs, my neighbor is at my door. He actually lives directly across the way from me. So as I'm backing in my driveway, he was actually pulling into his driveway too. And so when I get to the door, he had these two humongous boxes in his hand. And he said, I know that you're new to the neighborhood. He said, we've been here for years and every year we do this. And he gave me these two humongous boxes. And he said, a lot of kids out here, they love candy. They will be knocking at your door. So I want to just give you this. And I'm, I'm going to reach into my pocket and give him 30 or 40 bucks. He's like, no, 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 no. He said, I do this for the people in the neighborhood every year. And he gives me these two big old boxes of candy. Look at this, man. I love Skittles. Look at this. He gave me these two humongous boxes of candy, man. Look at this, the Starburst. Not the small packs. He gave me the extremely long packs of candy, man. So I'm like, oh my God. What am I going to do with all this candy? Which I know I'm going to give it away for Halloween because there is no way. Listen, you guys know if I ate this candy by myself, I'll probably be going back to get these teeth pulled out and redone again. There is no freaking way. This is a lot of candy. I love candy so much. Starburst, I love Starburst. But I like the variety packs where it's like um, different colors in there, different flavors. So this box right here... Well, I'll call it a case. This whole case right here is all pink. And this has 20. Oh, okay. It's a 24 count of this right here. And this right here was also a case of Skittles. This is the 24 count. This is the different colors right here. 
So this is crazy, man. Like this is the share size. So I'm gonna tell you, man, it's all about timing. I was in the right place at the right time, you know, so I'm really, really grateful for that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Y'all been seeing me fry chicken wings so much, it's not even funny. So I fried these this time a way that I was taught a long time ago. I actually put the lemon pepper seasoning on both sides of the chicken wings and I did not use any flour this time. I use, sometimes I do fry my chicken wings without any flour. You guys ever walk into those gas stations that sell like chicken wings and chicken and stuff? If you notice, if you look at the wings, a lot of places don't use breading. They just season them up real good and fry them. So those are just about done. And it is close to dinner time. And you guys probably have asked me in multiple videos, Mr. Carl, when you make greens, you don't never make cornbread? It's not necessary. The greens be so darn gone good, man. I don't even need cornbread on them. That's how fire my greens is. But comment down below, guys, if you guys think that is too much candy for the holiday. Because it is a lot of candy. And do I plan on giving away every single piece of it? Mm, who knows? Who knows? Knowing me? I don't know, man. I don't know. But it is getting time for me to wake up Dion because he did wake up early today. I mean, kind of late today. So I let him take like a, a late nap. So let's go ch check on him real quick. He's probably woke now. Let's see. Aww. Look at that little man. Dion, 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 Dion. Look, I have to wake him up in a little bit. Hey, man. Hey. Hey, you go. It's a little bit knocked out, y'all. Oh. Wake up. Wake up. He done. So he ended up taking like a late nap yesterday, guys, and he woke up late, which means I was up late last night. So tonight, it's probably going to be like another late night, guys. But I'm going to show you guys the Christmas tree that me and him going to be putting together probably towards the end of this month, guys. So we're going to go up, well, I'm going to go upstairs real quick. I'm going to come back and wake him up. I didn't want to wake him up until the dinner was like done because I know when he wakes up, he's going to be ready to eat dinner and stuff. So let's go upstairs real quick, guys. This little gate right there. Oh, by the way, we went and played basketball in the garage earlier today. Look at this boy. I can't even go up the stairs, man. Look. He got toys all on the stairs like, Dion, come on, man. Dad got to go upstairs. I got the Christmas tree up here. Don't judge me, guys. I think I said in the last video. What the heck? Uh-huh. I said in the last video that I was going to start getting the loft area fixed up. So this is the time of year. I'm definitely going to get the loft area together, guys. I've, I, I have some furniture picked out for this area. It's already picked out, um, but I don't want to say much. I just want to show you guys. So this table will be going to the garage. My spin and mystery wheel will be going to the garage. I don't really do couples content on this channel anymore because it's just me. You need couples to do couples content. So that spin and mystery wheel Dion's too young to play that. The bedroom upstairs, guys. So you guys see this stuff. All of this stuff will be coming out of here soon. And I sit up here occasionally and I do a sit down video for you guys. So that's what the ring lights are here for. But these tables, as you guys know, if you've been watching the Cryer family, you know why these glass tables are up here. I used to only put these tables up here when I knew Dion was coming over because I don't want him to drop something on one of these tables and break it. So I just keep these tables, even when Dion's not here, I still keep these glass tables up here because when he does come, I don't want him to climb on top of one of them. As you guys can see right here, this is a glass table. The one under it was a glass table too. I accidentally broke this table before I moved out of my other house. And so I stopped using this set. So I think this is the safest place for this to be for right now. He knows better to bring his love but upstairs. And this is the Christmas tree right here, guys. We're gonna be putting this tree together and hopefully by the grace of God, Dion will be helping me put it together. Because, and the reason why I said by the grace of God, because y'all know how two year olds is. I could be trying to put the tree together and Dion, he'll be trying to tear the tree down while I'm trying to put it together. 
So let's go back downstairs, guys, and check on everything. This is time now. I gotta turn these lights off up here. Mm, back down the stairs. I'm gonna wake Gian up, guys. I'm gonna let y'all see how mad he looks when I wake him up. I was always told that when I get woke up out of my sleep, I'll be looking mad. Let me see how he looks when I wake him up. Dion, 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 wake up. Dion, Dion. He's sleeping good. Hey, you know when you slobbering, you definitely sleeping good. Dion, Dion, Dion. Should I give another few minutes, guys? I'll give them like 10 more minutes, guys. Maybe by that time, the chicken will be completely done and the chicken will be all the way cooled off. But anyway, guys, I'm finna agree in this video off. It's not that very long. I just want to show you guys what we were doing today. And I wanted to ask you guys your opinion about the candy, if you think that I overdid it with the candy. Now, remember the other candy was given to me. I wasn't expecting that. So I would have never went to the store and bought that amount of candy. Cause I'm not trying, I just got my teeth done. So I'm not trying to mess up nobody else's teeth, especially a child, man. But leave me a comment down below if y'all enjoyed this video. But I love you guys until next time. It's your boy Damian Cryer, gang.